What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new showdown card and it is going to be Taliso to review today. Now I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking to myself, he looks like a really, really nice all-rounded player. A player that's going to help me out going forward, but a player that's also going to help me out defensively as well. He has got 82 pace, 84 dribbling, 86 shooting, 82 defending, 83 physicals with the 85 passing as well. He is a 5 foot 11 player, so he's not the smallest of players in that midfield he is going to have a tackle reach and he is going to have a pretty decent interception reach as well now he has got high medium work rates four star skill moves and a three star weak foot obviously three star weak foot for a midfielder is not the greatest this late into the game but i feel like if you want to use this card this is something you are going to have to deal with but he has got four star skill moves which is pretty pretty decent now when it comes down to the chem style i have gone for taliso it is going to be the shadow chem style i feel like making this card as fast as possible is going to benefit him way more than giving him like a little bit of extra strength you know so giving him that shadow chem stole you are giving this guy 92 acceleration with that 92 sprint speed so you best believe he is going to be insanely insanely fast in that midfield and especially his transition speed it should be very good as well now his shooting ability 88 attacking positioning 84 finishing 92 shot power 90 long shots 69 volleys with a 78 penalties boys this guy can take a long shot and you best believe I'm going to be trying a few. Let's just say that. Now, when it comes down to the traits, he doesn't he doesn't have any, unfortunately. You know, a finesse shot trait would have been pretty decent, saying that his curve is obviously only 72. But I guess it is what it is. But looking at passing ability, 87 vision, 73 crossing, 83 accuracy, 89 short passing, 92 long passing, with a 72 curve as well. I feel like Taliso is going to be one of those players that's able to ping the ball all the way down the, down the line, pretty much with both feet. I do feel like that freestyle weak foot might make it a little bit inconsistent time to time but hopefully it doesn't do it very often now the dribbling ability 81 agility 80 balance 88 reactions 88 ball control 82 dribbling with the 80 composure as well i must admit for a 5 foot 11 player it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look outrageously good. Like, the agility isn't good, the balance isn't good, and the composure isn't good. Everything else there looks okay, I would say. But, yeah, dribbling-wise, I still feel like he's going to feel pretty decent on the ball. It's just I would have liked him, you know, to have a little bit better dribbling stats. But it is what it is. Now, the defending ability. He has got 92 interceptions, 93 heading accuracy, 86 defensive awareness, 93 standing tackling, with the 92 slight tackling as well. You best believe this guy's going to put in a solid, solid tackle. And when it comes down to the physicals, he has got 89 jumping, which is really good. 83 stamina could be a little bit questionable because he's going to be one of those players that's going to be running up and down the pitch. So 83 stamina is going to be a little bit of an issue, but he has got the 81 strength with the 87 aggression to his game. Now, when it comes down to the links with this guy, He's from the Bundesliga and he is also French. So the links you can get with this guy is absolutely unbelievable. But I've personally gone for Sancho, Guendouzi and your boy Deco as well. Now when it comes down to which positions will I be trying to Liso in, it is going to be a 4-2-3-1 in that CDM position and in a 4-4-2 in that centre mid position as well. Let's see how this guy plays and I'm hoping, hoping he's a serious, serious player. Through the middle there, give it to Taliso. Good running with the ball. Decent turn. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, he's not the greatest on a ball. 100% he is not the greatest on a ball. You can clearly see it takes him a little while just to go for those 180 slash 90 degree angles. Like, look him right here. Like, you, you can clearly tell that he's going to be one of those players that you don't want to take too long on a ball with. Because if you do, you're most likely going to get rushed at and you're probably going to get tackled. At least I'll get out to him. Maybe I can put in a tackle. It was a very fluky tackle when he ends up losing a the ball there by taking a terrible touch. And we're lucky, lucky not to concede there. That ball control did not seem great at all. But he did put in a decent tackle. Give it to his feet here. Well played. I see a white LBY all the way to the top. Oh my God, look how perfect that pass is. Keep going, Tello. Keep going. Oh, he's used his strength. Can we get the ball? Can we get the ball? Can we get the goal? We eventually get it. It was a little bit jammy, but what a pass from Taliso all the way over to Tello. Be aggressive. Well played. That's a really good tackle from the back. Can I get a RBA as well? And it is going to be a spot on pass. Can I double A over? I can. Going to see if I can try to create an angle for the long shot. There you go. We got the angle. Is it going to go in? It's actually going to end up hitting crossbar. It was a really, really good shot. And for a second, I did believe it was going to go in. And that's a nice tackle. Great composure. Just pass away. I don't want to do too much with him. 
Can I go for the press? Maybe he's going to go running down the line. This is a good test when it comes down to the pace. He does well to actually catch up to Mbappu. I'm going to continue to go down. He's going to go for that cutback. All right, listen, listen, listen. I personally thought he had the opportunity to go for the slide tackle and get literally all ball. But for some odd reason, he missed the ball completely and just took out Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> what am I seeing? Maybe a one-two. Call him short. Oh, my boys, I'm telling you, it's the dribbling that's annoying me going forward. Like, he is a player that takes very odd touches. Like, the touches go way, way too far away from his body. And it doesn't allow me to do, like, the quick close in, like close encounter kind of dribbling, if you know what I mean. Where I can take players 1v1. He is definitely not that kind of player. He's a player that you have to keep it very simple with, you know. You can go for a turn like that and just instantly pass away. Dummy it. Maybe go for a pass through the middle. Give it back to him. Continue to go forward. Go for the hill to hill. Go for the finesse shot. Is it going to be a save? No, he's actually going to miss. To be fair to him, he was off balance. And his balance, you know, it isn't the greatest, let's say. But it's like, I still feel like that opportunity with his finishing, with his shot power, should still be going in. And that's disappointing he missed it. Talizo, LBY all the way to the other side. That's one thing I really am enjoying about him. He's passing ability. I haven't seen this guy screw up a pass a single time. Like, it's always been spot on, no matter where I'm going from. Like, an LBY down the wing, it's perfect. RBA straight through the middle, it's perfect. Talizo, nice interception, but the ball control lets him down, but he does shield off pretty well to be calm and composed and turn Mbappe there. That's really nice from him. Through that middle, maybe. Oh, Talisa's not going to lock on, but he does well to put in a tackle from the behind. We're just going to turn it, go for the LBY, and it is going to be another spot on pass. I'm telling you, boys, passing ability, the guy has got it. He really has. Like, I'm hitting with the left. I hit it with the right. It's literally spot on pretty much every single time. And one thing I really want to do is see. Oh, it's bad angle. Oh. Oh, for a second, I actually thought he was going to go in. It wasn't the greatest angle, but I'm trying to get this long shot. I really do want it. Going to get out to him. See if I can press him. He does well to get out to the player, and he is going to do well to tackle him. I'm just going to go for a wide ball down the line, and it's going to be a nice little pass. But a guy puts in a solid slide tackle. Deco to Taliso. Come on. There's a goal. No, if that wasn't a block, I reckon that would have had a chance of actually going in. But he does well to actually create the angle there with the standing scoop turn. It's just we couldn't get that shot off. Felix, over to Taliso. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I go for it finally? No, how is that not in the corner? That's a really, really good angle as well. And I absolutely turned the player inside out. It's just so unlucky not to get that long shot into that corner. If we are taking a look at his transition speed, by the way, um, it's actually pretty decent. I would say I was expecting it to be a little bit better because I do feel like it's just a slight bit heavy, but it's not bad at all. Obviously, it's no, you know, foot birthday Renato Sanchez kind of transition speed but he's still very good give it to a feet here one thing i'm really enjoying about Talisa playing him in that cdm or even center mid position is look at his positioning he does really like to go forward let me see come on nah it's that dribbling boys i'm telling you the dribbling with him is so hard to create an angle to go for a long shot and that's like the biggest struggle i'm actually having with him right now maybe intercept this pass going up we're gonna continue our play that's a good tackle give it to him right here go forward Maybe give it to Felix through the middle. Well played. I like how he goes up. Like, look at his positioning. He likes to go up a lot. And that is because of his high, medium work rates. For me, boys, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like playing him in that CDM position is using him to his full potential. I feel like that sentiment position is definitely the way to go. Uh, I tried to see if I can create another angle for a long shot. But I'm going to be honest, boys. I don't feel we're going to get the long shot. It's simple as that. Like, we've had so many chances. It's ridiculous. At good angles. And it's just not been the greatest. We've only hit crossbar i think it's like once so it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with this taliso card and we did not get a goal and we did not get an assist it's so unfortunate not to get a goal with this guy because we had so many opportunities the amount of long shots we was taking with this guy was ridiculous the closest we came was hitting crossbar we even took a shot inside the box and then his balance came into play that 80 balance that he has to his game came into play made him have like a terrible animation tried to do a falling over shot and it, the ball just went way wide like it was unreal how unlucky we was getting to not score a goal with this guy but boys do i believe this guy is worth 180k ea have placed them they have price tagged him at i do 
I really do. The reason I say I do is you have to keep in mind this card can still get a plus two upgrade. And this card gives you that ability to go forward with him and also gives you the ability to go backwards with him. So aka defensively, you know. And he's also a player that has great links to his game. Like the French nationality, we all know how good that is. And obviously playing for Bayern in the Bundesliga, it's like, come on. The links with this guy is unreal. So 180k, I do believe it's actually worth it. But I definitely feel like this card needs that plus two upgrade. Because for me, this card right now is quite average. And it, it honestly, it shocks me to say that because you look at the stats and you think to yourself, this card looks absolutely unreal. He looks top, top tier. But for me, he is honestly quite average. Like he is a player that dribbling ability wise, do not even bother. Like, it's so, so sad to see that his dribbling ability is just pretty much non-existent at times. Like, the touches this guy takes at 180 angles is sometimes one of the worst touches I've seen in this game. It's honestly embarrassing. But, hey, let's get straight into ratings and see how he goes. Pace-wise, I'm going to give him, I would say, an 8.7 out of 10. It was nothing insane, but his transition speed was still good. I just did feel like it was a little bit heavy going left and right time to time. Shooting ability. We didn't score a goal, but we had plenty of shots. So, for shooting... I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.4 out of 10. It just, for me, it just wasn't, you know, as great as it actually says on the card. Passing ability. This is the one thing I really did enjoy about him. Like left foot, right foot, it didn't matter. The ball was getting there. And that's something I really did enjoy. So for passing, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like a 9.1 out of 10. It definitely is up there. Dribbling ability. This is where it's going to lower the overall rating. It really is. For dribbling, I am going to give him an 8 out of 10 on the dot, boys. He does not deserve anything higher than that. And for a player... That is 5 foot 11. To, ho to have those kind of dribbling stats in this game, it hurts to see, man. I just wish EA actually gave this guy higher dribbling. Because it would have made the it would have made like our lives 10 times easier in game. It's just you know for a fact that you cannot dribble with this guy. If you do, you're most likely gonna lose the ball and you're gonna get countered. Defending, I am gonna give him he was quite solid defending, I must admit. Like his interceptions was good, his standing tackles was good. The only thing I didn't like was his positioning. Because he has got high medium work rate, it does allow him sorry, it does make him go like very far forward and not that far backwards. So positioning when it comes down to playing like a CDM position was was quite awkward so for defending i am gonna give him i'll probably say like an 8.7 out of 10 and when it comes down to the physicals it wasn't like outrageously good so for physicals i'll probably give it like an 8.4 out of 10 because i did feel like the stamina was not enough either but overall rating out of 10 boys i am gonna give this card i would honestly say I'll probably say like an 8.4 out of 10. He 100% needs that plus two upgrade. And if you're thinking of getting him and you don't know where to play him, play him in that sentiment position. If you play like the 4 3 1 2 or like the 4 1 2 1 2, play him in that left sentiment position. That's when he that's where you're gonna use him to his full potential. For me, this card, he's not a CDM. It's simple as that. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.